All right, we should be live. Hello, everyone. So. Um, so yeah, this is a very impromptu run because uh, we needed something as a backup. Um, so I am joined by the wonderful Oscari. Hello. Um, so yeah, we're going to be running Uncharted Two. Um, we're doing NG Plus, which is pretty similar to any any percent, but uh yeah it's been a while since i've done this so we'll see how it goes um yeah just get into it i guess Let me just check my controls okay, that back. Uh, okay. so yeah we use uh campaign mode instead of continuous speedrun mode which you would normally use for every other category uh the reason for that is because all tweaks are disabled on continuous speedrun mode so yeah, you can't really do much different to any percent there. Um, uh, sure, I'll use the save file. Just for safety, in case the game crashes, which is rare, but it can happen. Hey guys, cheers! Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a run of uh, UC2 new, new game plus, so it's gonna be fun for me as well. Um. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty similar to any percent. Like, it, the main differences are like fast motion and uh, being able to use weapons in some areas where you yeah. aren't. Um, but yeah, okay, I'll give you a countdown. So three, two, one, go. Uh, this is uh, ticks, fast motion, uh, ammo, which are kills, and that's all the good stuff. Uh, yeah, this gun, oh. Yeah. Wait, do we have... We've got to have... Uh, what's it? No, is there no... Cartoon Drake? Come on, there's got to no, be Cartoon Drake. No, Cartoon Drake's only UC1. Oh no! Okay, okay, well then, got to go for the next first one, which is... Donut Drake. Oh, there we go. Okay, so, uh, UC2. Um, yeah, this is a game. Um, this... Actually, climbing a train. That's what you do. Sorry, it's, like, it's very late where I'm at, so <laughs> I'm gonna probably be rambling. I'm also supposed to be running in like six hours or so. <laughs> so um, yeah. See, this is probably not gonna be a thing tonight. Oh, hello, camera. Also, let me know if all the audio is fine, or if the game needs turning up or anything. And if you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask in chat. Um, but yeah, so... The first part of this is just platforming, just... I mean, the strain, not really anything too fancy. Uh, the run will get pretty fancy, like... Pretty soon, because we'll be doing a skip. Uh, as soon as we climb to the top of this, this bridge. Actually, I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work with fast motion. Um, as I said, it's been a while since I've done NG Plus, and I only did like a few runs of it. Uh, but we'll see. I think it should do. Uh, I don't see so, why we shouldn't. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we roll off there, and then we climb up. Yeah, actually, I think I do need to turn it off. So yeah, I'll be turning off fast motion for certain skips. So yeah, that gives him like a bit of a boost, um, and you can use that to climb onto the top of the carriage. And then from here, the camera is kind of locked where it's like supposed to be, because the game thinks you're meant to be there, but we're actually not there, of course, because we're cheating and using hacks. So uh, nice wall. <laughs> I'm meant to be in there. Okay. So yeah, now the camera's back to where it's supposed to be. Uh, okay, aiming is a thing. <laughs> or the trick in the game is shooting me. That lock is just so annoying. And then you miss it, and then you have to reset, and you just cry inside. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so we're going to be blind firing through this area because it's fastest animation for movement. 
in terms of like general movement animations, uh, do you want to go over that? Us. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of similar as all the rest of these games. You you want to be jumping when you're out of combat, but uh, in in UC two and UC three, you can like kind of substitute jumping and shooting while out of combat, and they kind of do the same thing. So. It's like you can you can pick and choose for wherever you are. Sometimes the terrain is kind of annoying for jumping, so you can shoot and whatever. Then in in combat, you can just uh, run around. And uh, unlike UC one, for example, shooting up slopes and stuff isn't really faster than this. Sure you know where you're oh wow, this is so <laughs> fast <laughs> So, <laughs> motion only speeds up the game by like 20%, like I, I calculate- Oh hello, okay, some fantastic. <laughs> uh, nice, no one saw that. <laughs> um, as I was saying, uh, fast motion only speeds up the game by 20%, um, in terms of like, an actual like numerical day, value, it? but it actually yeah. feels a lot faster when you're Remember playing. Again? Like the animations feel like, it's super quick. Oh wait. This can't be right. You must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right? So yeah, this is uh, this is Flynn. He's like we're in the uh, yeah. annoying British guy. In like Flynn, right? Don't what? know enough of those in guys. Like um, but yeah, he's it. the one here. Just give me a boost. And but now he's our friend. But I mean, this is a marathon, so are we really going to talk about story? Maybe this game does have Thanks. a story. It's pretty good. Technically, but... in the canon of the speedrun, he's always our friend because we never see any of the parts where he's not our friend. That's true. Even in chapter twenty-four. Yeah, twenty-four. That's the one. Um, he's he's still like kind of buddy buddy with us. <laughs> so I guess you can say yeah. he's still our friend then. Maybe, uh, maybe like chapter eleven when you're running away from him and he's shooting at you. Oh yeah, I mean that, that's just that's just a game, right? It's just, yeah. Just playing with us. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I just did a restart checkpoint there. You'll be seeing quite a few restart checkpoints throughout the run. Um, they use like various different things. Um, some of them are like essential for skips to work. Some of them are um, for like moving companion AI or moving yourself like further forward. Uh, but yeah, they have a variety of different uses. So like this one, it places us right here. It's not really much faster because of the autosave. Um, because I'm using a save file, but I'll just do them whenever they present themselves. Uh, we also did a little skip there. There's meant to be a... Um... Actually, uh, I'll let this play a bit. Um, there's meant to be a little Good cinematic in-game where like, you I take cover against nose, the windowsill. Um... There's an alarm. And like that plays for like 10 seconds, right. but we skipped that. Well... I'm also gonna... Then fast motion off for this, because there's another off. skip. Oh, I messed it up. I haven't messed up in a while. Somewhere. Okay, I'm going to blame fast, fast motion. <laughs> uh, okay, this is awkward. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's go. always annoying when, it, when you get off the setup. Um, another like small skip there as well. Um, once you like can fall over the ledge, if you hold inspect mode, you can actually like get like a small platform under your feet, and then you can jump off that as well. If you don't jump, then you have to like mimic like doing the tutorial that's supposed to be there. Yeah, or you, you could actually um, bypass that by going into photo mode, uh, and that lets oh. you like jump again and like climb walls. Otherwise, you're like stuck there. And you have to do the tutorial like normal. So yeah, we're gonna do that skip again. Well, I say skip, it's like a minor glitch, but Sleep tight. Yeah. Uh the guards are, are not very like tough on Explorer. You can just one shot them. Or one punch them, I should say. Okay. Well, should be well, to... Not so fast. Man, commentary is hectic with, <laughs> with fast notion, hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait here. Doesn't really give you a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I really missed an opportunity to do a, a donut Jeff skin. Yeah, they should have done one. I think in Uncharted 3, you could like, do have Donut Jeff, right? I think yeah, I think so. You have like Donut Sully, Donut Jeff, Donut, Donut okay. Lasarovich. Yeah. That would have been nice if they had that in this one as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is a just a courtyard full of guards. Just gonna run past them because they're all oblivious. You can do this on any courtyard as well, even brutal. Speaking of other difficulties, um, oh, I might get spotted actually. I think we're good actually. Oh, don't, don't. Okay, we're good, good, we're good, good. Okay, you can get spotted like as as you're like at that window so So hello. Uh, I don't think this is gonna. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Dude, I definitely hit that guy. <laughs> All right, let go. No one saw that. There. So yeah, you meant to push that cart, but you can just jump up anyway. If you restart checkpoint, then it didn't happen. Exactly. <laughs> Good thing one of us thought ahead, eh? Yeah. All yours. Oh. Hey. Hey. Let's go. Uh, so yeah, there's another skip coming up here. There's like, there's a wall, but it's not really a wall. Walls are kind of suggestions in this game for in a few sections. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can just jump through it because this game is broken. <laughs> Doesn't that mess up your muscle memory? The timing of that jump from that clip. Um, it kind of. It's like it's basically the same, even with fast motion. So I don't know. Okay. It's not too different. Some skips you you basically can't do with fast motion, but that one's not one of them. Like train skip is an absolute nightmare with fast motion. Oh yeah. And yeah, some more restart checkpoints here to speed thin up. This one makes it so that the rope he is meant to throw is already like there. I'm right behind you. As always. There's a guy above you, there's a guy above you. There's a guy below you, there's a guy below you. That joke never gets old. Yeah, great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. There's a guard oh. below you. Do you ever get the camera glitch here? So, funny story, um, I was doing, I can't remember what run it was, but I was doing a run, and uh, Palmer, who's another runner, get gets the camera glitch, like, so like like, as I was at that spot, I was saying, hey Palmer, you get the camera glitch so quite often, don't you? And then I, I got the glitch for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> the irony was just, just too funny. Yeah, I, I get it a lot. I think it has to do with like, because uh, okay. I, I like to just like hold L1 as I'm climbing there, and then he aims like as soon as possible. Hmm. Ladies first. I think it has to do with like if you if you aim really fast and shoot the guy really fast. So what you're saying is, like I'm just I'm just going too slow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, you're saving time. Okay, uh, now I'm screwed. Potentially. Well, it's a I guess. <laughs> Schro Schrodinger's time save. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> that's, a, that's an interesting way to put it, yeah. Hey, Frame, thanks for the luck. Oh, nice, got that jump. You can actually, like, get um, stuck on the ceiling there, which is not fun. But it happens, like, I'd say, like, half the time for me. If you're good, it, yeah. it won't happen at all, but yeah. Um, not the best at this game. <laughs> Happens like so okay. percent of the time. To me. Yeah, it's, it's a tricky one. Right ahead of you. Uh -huh. There we are. All right. This one. <laughs> 
Once you've set all the charges, just hit the detonator and... So yeah, having um, infinite ammo and one-hit kills makes the fights a lot easier as well. Well, not, I wouldn't say easier, because they're pretty easy to begin with, but it makes them, like, quicker, so that's always nice. It's also nice to have just, like, ammo management completely out of your mind. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe I should turn my sensitivity down. It's too late for that though, actually. I mean, not really, but still. So, yeah, this is where the run gets pretty interesting. Uh, we're going to be doing a bunch of skips using the journal feature. So, the journal breaks the game completely and allows you to like levitate in there, like you just saw. Um, so you can do that to get height, um, which is what we just did. We can also like walk off of ledges. I'm going to... Um, and fast motion off of this actually, just, just to get more distance. I I really hate this one as well. This is like the worst book launch in the game for me. Mm -hmm. Right there you go. Yeah, so yeah, with fast motion, you don't get as much distance on journal tricks, so that's why I'll turn it off for like certain things. Yeah, like that. That would have that might have been okay without fast motion. I'm gonna turn it off for this one. Um, so yeah, you can also like get a lot of uh, momentum around corners, which is what I'm trying to do here. This is a zip. So yeah, there we go. That's a good zip. Uh, you can actually combine journal tricks as well um, together, like different tricks. So like book launches and zips and like. We'll, we'll do airwalks in a bit, um, but yeah, you can combine them, and we'll see more of that as the run progresses. Uh, okay, that's a bit annoying, but that's fine. Ideally, you don't want to we'll grab this ledge. Just like in Montreal, huh? You're never gonna forget yeah, this area is finicky. Yeah, the movement here can be awkward. I think I see the camp up ahead. So yeah, there's another skip coming up here. I'm gonna turn off fast motion for this one. This one's really fun. Yeah, I, it's this one. Like the positioning is very precise for where you want to be. Because even if you like a small bit off and you like um, don't get like a great launch, if the launch is too too high, then it won't work. So it's it's pretty specific that let's get there. Oh, so yeah, it's one can... where like it's one where like when you're learning it you never get it but then once it's like in your muscle memory it becomes pretty simple yeah that's that's the case with like a lot of tricks in this game like you just need yeah. to practice it until Whoa, you get it down uh, do you want to explain airwalks uh, yeah so airwalks are a part of the the book glitches so basically um when you're changing weapons, if you if you press the journal in the right part of that animation, you soft lock Nate in a running state, and he doesn't have gravity. Um, but what's nice is that the grenade holding the grenade animation is separate from the from the rest of Nate Nate's animations, so you can hold a grenade and throw a grenade while in there, and the grenade will knock you out of the the blast damage will knock you out of the airwalk. So that way we can we can uh, get out of airwalk without hitting like a checkpoint or something. Yeah, exactly. Pretty nice. And like while well, mentioned earlier, you can like combine stuff. And you can get do airwalks uh, with upwards angles and downwards angles and different speeds and fun stuff. Yeah, it gets quite complicated pretty quickly, but like the the fundamentals are pretty straightforward once you get them down. Mm -hmm. Go go go! It makes it makes the game kind of hard to teach to other people because it's like you're trying to like maybe like you need to press the press the stick forward like a fraction of a second earlier or later than they are doing, and it's it's really hard to communicate that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's got so, a very steep learning curve. Yeah. This is very marginal okay. difference between successful. Uh, inputs then unsuccessful. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, here's five to seven airwalk. 
which uh, is a big roadblock for new players. Yeah, I should have turned fast motion off earlier. There we go. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the hardest skips in the game. We're gonna go straight from like the start of chapter five to like the end of chapter six, hopefully. Mm, I think that's too far left. Uh, yeah, all right, cool. So yeah, um, this airwalk is very precise. So you need to be going in a very specific direction. I was marginally too far left. Okay, maybe not marginally. I was like kind of a bit too far left there. But yeah. Um, lots of runs will die here <laughs> if you're in this game. It's just, on, <laughs> it's just something you have to accept. Also, when you're like trying to de-rust this game, it's always like you get to chapter 5 and you're like, oh, am I ever going to be able to run this game again? Yeah. Okay, this one looks good. I think. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, yeah, okay. I usually check my angle against the signs there. Um, and yeah, I'll turn on fast motion now. I feel like I'm going a bit too slow, but it might just be me. Yeah, we'll that was like, that was like on the, the leftmost boundary. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, you don't want to go like further left than like the signs on on that wall. But like, it's not kind of hard to explain without having visuals, and we're a bit yeah. past that point. So, anyway, we'll see how it goes. I use like the the sign as my left point, and then like the second, the left side of the second AC unit as the right side. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think this is bad. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You can tell once you're like, yeah. You can tell once you're in the, in this part if it's correct or not by the by the trail of the grenade thingy, uh, or by just like the the way that Nate is rubbing against the ledge. Yeah, I should have let that go a bit longer before pausing the first time. I paused too quickly. That's on me. I think it would have been okay if I hadn't unpause, or well, not unpause, but pause at the wrong time. Okay, this should be a perfect angle, actually. Uh, yeah, very right, cool. Yeah, this one looks good. Okay. Yeah, this is just one of those skips which is difficult and will usually take a few tries. If you get it first try in your in your PB, then it's not going to be fun to compare against for, for like future PBs or PB attempts, because you pretty much have to get it first try. I usually find that my like PBs have bad like chapters one to four just because I'm like trying to get to. I never never want to reset before five. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely say like don't reset until chapter five. Unless something goes really, really horribly. Yeah. Okay, there we go. This is where we're meant to be. And Nate's hip swinging in this void is really <laughs> mood. Yep. Okay, gonna pause one more time, and then when the man's in deloads, we can unpause. We should be in the hotel at the end of chapter six. Go. Oh, 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 also, another thing about explorer mode, you can just throw grenades at your feet, and Nate just tanks them because he's just that good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get an extra fifty percent health um, on explorer compared to every other difficulty, so uh, that's useful. Uh, oh, and I should yeah. probably mention that, like, um, when you do airwalks and you knock yourself out of the airwalk, as long as you don't pull out a weapon from a holster, you can reinitialize an airwalk um, just by pressing the touchpad. Yeah, it's useful in uh, in that spot and also in chapter four at the end. Hey, that wire. Mm -hmm. 
That's our way down. All go, right, go. Right. So yeah, um, you saw I jumped and like took a death there. Uh, that's like a safe strat. You can, you can like play that area a bit faster if you jump to the left. But it, the I'm jump is like, it can be a bit dodgy at times, and you can like bump against the wall and then you can die and then you can cry inside because that's always what happens when you fail um, 5 to 7 and walk off to getting the, the hard part done. That's, what, that's just what happens when you play this game. <laughs> okay, that was a bit too real, but sure. <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're not wrong. Yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter if I take the Uzi because we've got one shot kills, but we still like having the Uzi. The Uzi is the best one in the game, by the way. It just melts through people. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is going to be the f like one of the first times we're going to combine tricks together. So we're going to tr combine a zip with an airwalk. How are we going to get across? So I'm going to try and the far side. get across this gap. There we go. Easy peasy. Whoa, take cover. <laughs> Man, one shot kills are pretty nice. Yeah, it's it's, it's quite nice. Come on, this way. Well, people should run New Game Plus because it, it definitely fires. needs to get like a sub one hour run. That's like a water hood. Yeah, it's definitely doable, I'd say. And then another zip uh, air walk here. Oh. Well, that's more like Thanks for stopping by, uh, Nico. And thanks for good luck. Uh. Hope you enjoyed the show. So yeah, um... Oh, you, don't, you don't do the thing here. Oh yeah, there's so there's like loads of different strats for this room. Uh, there's an airwalk you can do to avoid doing all this climbing. There's also another airwalk you can, you can do here, which is like a zip airwalk that takes you straight across over there. I'm not going to do any of that because I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> Yeah, this is like one of the most like, strat diverse weapons in the game. Yeah, so many different things you can do. And yeah, you can just like avoid like a bit of climbing by uh, jumping onto that railing and then jumping in straight to the ledge from there. Yeah, I really like that. Little thing, jump there. What is mm. it? Once so you get a feel for it, this isn't just a dagger. Yeah, what do you think? It's a key. Yeah, it's just so annoying to have to cl do the climb like on the monkey bar and everything. So. Yeah, it's it's, it's so long. <laughs> Especially when he's like shimmying across like a a bar, it just sticks forever. So slow. <laughs> yeah. There. Yeah, the the audio is like so out of sync with like Ladies first. Um if you say so. With the actual like visuals because because they're using fast motion, so um you hear dialogue be like way behind where yeah. we're supposed to be. <laughs> no, it's actually kind of romantic down here. Alright. Yeah. Chocolates and flowers. Yeah. You never were a chocolate and flower kind of girl. Probably. A little bit of a drop. So yeah, I'm gonna be blind firing through this area. You can jump here instead, but for like these yeah. corners, it's yeah, it's more efficient to blind fire. Because it gives you more control around corners. You got me. Yeah. And then like, <laughs> if you were if you were doing a, a normal run where you had to you think about ammo, you would um, you usually you would like just mash, shoot, and reload. And then you can just set, use it one bullet at a time, and then reload and keep, and keep running instead of shooting constantly. Oh, 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 no. Okay, it's not exactly how it's meant to go, but that is kind of quicker. So, I'll take that. I think that's the first instance where you do an upwards airwalk as well, so... 
along with um, combining zips with airwalks, so you can also combine book launchers with them. There's more reflectors up here. Chloe! Adjust the other reflector. So yeah, we did a little restart checkpoint there nice because otherwise Chloe can soft lock and uh, she won't move the mirrors that you need to like be aligned. And then like if that happens, then you can't like move the, the light around the room to activate these puzzles. Because you're like stuck on the other side of the trap door. Yeah. Got it. Wait, why'd I go this way? Uh, yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. Don't mind me, just uh, professional speed on a kappa. <laughs> All right, one more blade to go. You can airwalk straight from straight to this next dagger. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that one's like a slow rising airwalk though, so you gotta get like. Um, you gotta get a height on it, and it's like it's very specific. So I don't usually go for that one. It's pretty swag when you get it though. Yeah. We just need to adjust that other reflector. On my way. Good, that's it. I did it. Here's the first instance of uh, backwards cover clipping. Uh, if you just do like, you know, you can, the co cover clipping is weird. You, you can just like go in low cover and then like move a bit to the to the side and then uh, press circle and backwards, and you you can just kind of go through some walls. Exactly like that. So that that took us out of bounds, and luckily the trigger for that um, cutscene is available still out of bounds for some reason. But yeah, I won't complain. <laughs> Means he can do it. Make a big one too small. That's true. Shit. Also, that's what she said. Right but yeah, that's not bad. We've got to get back to the entrance. So yeah, this is a fight area. Um, just gotta get through. Just don't get stuck on these guys. If they start meleeing you, um, then that's really slow. And also, for some reason, even on Explorer, melee damage is just like really, like really high. Um, mm -hmm. So you take like a lot of damage from punches and hits. You can kind of use your guns as like a buffer. Mm. And with one shot kills, it's not even a buff. The buff there is just multi oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh hi. Uh, yeah, don't do that. Snip. Uh, should I have taken that? I don't know. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go with the pistol. We usually go with the pistol um, to take out the guys in the next area because it's kind of long range. So the Uzi isn't the best. Also, you can just run past that shotgun guy. It's quite chill. There they are. Stay down. Okay, my accuracy is not very good right now, but one shot kills is nice to have. <laughs> so uh, kind of makes up for it. That's late night. Come on. Yeah, we just, just blame it on it being like four thirty. <laughs> Um, so there's a bit of movement tech you can do here. Um, every like 15 steps or so, uh, Jeff will like enter a staggering animation where you need to like pick him back up for like a few seconds. Um, you can actually avoid that completely by aiming um, like every like five or so seconds. So yeah, you'll see me like zooming in into aim for like half a second and then oh wait, there's a research checkpoint there. I was I was explaining stuff. I forgot. Oops. Mistakes happened. <laughs> Give on, more man. Jeff time. 
Exactly. That's that's what we need. Oh, shit. It's fine, okay, man. I I think the cannon version of the run is where you uh, put the Jeff skin on uh, after the next cutscene. <laughs> Well, I mean, Jeff would be okay, right? Nothing, nothing bad would happen to Jeff. Hey, over here! Uh, no, definitely not. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go, go. yeah. Naughty Dog isn't joking. that mean. They, they wouldn't do anything to our boy Jeff. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Up the stairs. Come on! All this effort. Holy is the worst in this part. Yeah, see, Jeff's okay. He's, he's completely fine. You alright? Yeah. Keep going, keep going. We're awfully close, yeah. Nate. There you go. Watch out! Wait, it don't stop! Where Nate is, we have no idea. He's probably, like, off somewhere else. Okay. Wouldn't be surprised yeah. if you abandoned us. Hurry! Up this way! Holy one. Check on, on that arm in Lima. <laughs> yep. Now he's off his sully. <laughs> uh, so, this chapter, we're gonna stealth kill this guy. That will mean that he'll drop a grenade along with his weapon. We need that grenade. Um, otherwise, we'll kind of be in a bit of a pickle. Um, because we need to do a grenade a walk, and if you don't have a grenade, you can't really do a grenade walk. So, uh, that, that grenade is important. Got all those guys all by myself? Well, this is kind of tricky. Yeah, that one can really mess you up a lot of the time. I know I've like lost loads of time there before right. and once. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's like so many skins, Kira. Um, this area is kind of weird because it's not a combat encounter here, but you still can't use your giant. Hello? Uh, Jeff, can we please? Okay, cool. Apparently, he doesn't want to. That's fine. I mean, that has happened before, but it's been a while since <laughs> it happened the last time, so... Yeah. Um, as I was saying, like, in combat encounters, you can't use the journal, but during, like, regular gameplay, when there's no enemies around, you sh usually are able to use the journal. But in this area, you can't. Um, so this fight is very scripted, uh, Matt Matt found Whoa, the fastest way to get around it. Um, so you need to kill, kill specific enemies, so it's the shotgun guys and the air guys with Uzis who have um, orange hats. And then you need to kill the snipers as well. Pretty good actually, it used to be pretty annoying this fight, you just like shoot guys until something happens. Yeah. Well, I suppose it couldn't get any worse. Oh, this is all I need. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Train's gone, Chloe's on it, Helena's nowhere to be found. And now Elena shows up in the truck. Oh, okay. Hey! It's about time! So, yeah, I, I was meant to <laughs> run into the truck to show you the cutscene, but yeah, I jumped into the wall. Mistakes happen, it's okay, we move. <laughs> Uh, so this is train skip. Uh, so I'm gonna um, turn fast motion off because it's very annoying with fast motion. Actually, I'm not even sure if it does work with fast motion. Um, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a shimmy cover. So we're gonna we're gonna take cover like here, and I'm gonna like move progressively to the left. And with every like motion, like every set, like every turn that he makes, um, he moves like further and further. And I just messed up. Awesome. Cool. It's okay. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, so he'll move further and further left, and at one point he'll be so far left that he'll be basically off the cover and then he'll clip out of the train and hopefully we should get there anytime in the next entry. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've never been the best with this clip. It's it's one you can do in like 22 seconds, it's like the fastest I've seen. Uh, but yeah, that's the train. It's, uh, it's going off, seeing its own thing. And uh, yeah, we're just uh, gonna chill on the tracks for about four minutes or so. Also, hi French, how's it going? And yeah, so if I was to like release the aim, then the camera is like stuck on the train, and I'm not moving it right now. It's moving by itself. So yeah, as you can see, it's kind of throwing a bit of a fit. It's gonna get a lot worse, so the camera is gonna be really jerky very soon. So to save you guys from motion sickness, I'm gonna just hold aim for the rest of the trip. Uh, but yeah. Um, so the reason this works is because the train is on like a massive circle, like the, the track is like a loop. So eventually it will come back around that way and then we're going to like bump into the front of it. And when we do that we're going to hit a trigger that will take us directly into the cutscene at the end of chapter 14. So we'll skip all of chapters 13 and 14. Um, and yeah, this is this is quicker than like going through the train normally by a, a good few minutes. Even on Explorer, it's like it saves quite a bit of time. Yeah, this level is really impressive, technically, because it's just like a series of of loops, and they like transition transition between them really cleverly, so you you don't really notice anything. But the trigger is still on the front of the train, so we can just like access it from the first loop. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to grab a snack. Uh, take a walk, like grab a drink, and that was a good time because uh, we're just going to be here for like a few more minutes. Um, if I like try moving at all, then I will like fall off the invisible platform I'm on right now, and then um, once I hit the floor, I'm, I'll die. So I'd have to redo the whole thing. So I'm going to avoid doing anything other than aiming and moving the camera. Uh, so yeah. What do you guys do today? Did you get up to anything productive? Have you changed the world for the better in the past like 24 hours or so? <laughs> I'd love to hear what you guys have been up to. Also, you've been uh, doing something productive today. Yeah, I, I troubleshooted some PC issues. <laughs> this is the dumbest <laughs> issue ever because uh, my PC crashed three times while I was running UC1. Yeah, that was and, unfortunate. Uh, yeah, the issue was really dumb. The, the the power cable was just like bad, so it had had a dodgy connection. So oh, it was the power cable. Okay, that's yeah. that's an easy fix though. I, so that... yeah, it kept tripping like the low low voltage safety thing in the power supply. Right. So is is it that. is it fixed now? So you got like new power cable. Or, um... Have you just like fixed it? Oh yeah, I have, I have so many of them. Okay, nice. <laughs> so yeah, I just switched it out. Good stuff. So yeah, we've triggered the enemies now. Oh, hi. Um, you okay then? I, I I I've never seen this before. <laughs> I never noticed that yeah. this before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess we didn't explain that. Depending on how fast you get the skip depends determines how the the level ends yeah so ideally you, if you get the skip in under 30 seconds um give or take like a few of like five or so seconds um I like 40. yeah probably like 40 is be fine as well um you can get like a fast cutscene where you hit the, the cutscene trigger and then the cutscene goes like straight away um if you like if you're a bit slow with the clip, then usually it takes like 20 seconds longer of waiting. So I like, even if you get a fast clip, you're saving more time automatically by um, getting the fast cutscene. Most of the time, that yeah. is. 
I mean, it is pretty consi consistent, like pretty much 100% consistent if you get it like within 30 seconds that you get the false cutscene. Yeah. What else could go wrong? It's always scary when you're on the margin and you're not sure if you're gonna like lose 10 seconds or 50 seconds. Yeah. So it's a bit sketchy then. Also, insert reset joke. Uh, yeah, that's original. Oh, yeah. Wow, we dropped the ball on that one. <laughs> this time we don't want to like, go over the car like we did the last time. Yeah, you need to trigger this uh, cutscene. Well, I should, I, should say, I should say cinematic rather than cutscene, because like, cutscenes are like skippable. Yeah. Coming up in a few seconds, we've got an actual cutscene. So yeah, this is another fight area. Um, even without one-shot kills, it's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, one-shot kills makes it a little bit nicer. So yeah, these guys all like come from determined points, so you can just um, like pre-aim where they're going to be and just take them out as this morning. So yeah, if I wasn't bad at the game, then um, we could have got there a bit quicker. Um, this is chapter 16. Not really a lot going on here. Um, let's say hi to a few friends, though. I guess the only thing to mention here is that if you're like playing this and you aren't getting rolls and you don't know why, then the, the reason is you have to press like up on the D-pad, go into inspect mode to be able to roll. Yeah, so it, there's like a specific timing to it. You want to hit up on the D-pad and then circle like basically immediately after. Um, yeah, you can see the camera's kind of like juddering up right before the roll. Yeah, it zooms in a bit because we're entering inspect mode. I see you two hiding. Hey, how you doing, pal? Okay, so hopefully I got enough good luck with uh, meeting all the friends. Because we're going to try the most inconsistent skip you've ever seen in your life. Um, Let's go. So yeah. This mountain side is very broken, um, and yeah, as you can see, it's broken. <laughs> so what you can do using the brokenness is actually get launched um, into an area which is like at the end of this chapter. So if you get it first try, it skips like five minutes. Um, so yeah, once you get a PB with the skip, you'll hate your life if you ever want a PB again. Um, mm -hmm. So that's why I've only got one PB with the skip, and then I quit running this game. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, it's not fun to grind this, but like you can hear all about that from Matt and Arams, because uh, I don't have experience with grinding this game with the skip. Um, I'll only do it like a few more tries. If I can get the the um, the launch it alone, that would be fine. Because at least I could get to show that. Um, the worst part is that it's like an hour into <laughs> into the run, or like yeah. fifty minutes, I guess, maybe. Dude, I'm getting so close. Okay, I'll give it like three more goes. Uh, the backup strat is doing the chapter normally. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a pretty rough backup. <laughs> Lots of time loss, lots of memes. 
I have my own setup for this, but like even with that, it's not consistent at all. Yeah. Okay, last try. Uh, so I want his feet to be in like a certain position, which they're not really cooperating at the moment. Yeah, this is not doing what I want him to do. Uh, yeah, it's not going to work either. Sure, we'll try that. Okay, let's go. Okay, cool. Okay, I lied. That wasn't the last go. I'm gonna trigger Tenzin and then try it one more time. It's not that much slower if you trigger Tenzin. Uh. Alright, yellow. Okay, cool. <laughs> Guess it wants to troll me today. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not sure this has ever been successfully done in a marathon. Yeah, I've gotten the launch a few times in marathons actually, but I haven't got the skip. So, yeah. Because even if you get the launch, you have to get like the yeah, correct luck, launch. Pal. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a nightmare. Because <laughs> yeah. it's very specific, like the angle yeah, and like placement that you're meant to be at. For the skip to even work, you know even if you get the going, launch. Buddy. I don't know why, but I always like try to get on the ladder before Tenzin, even though it doesn't change anything. Exactly. Yeah, it doesn't save time because you still have to wait for Tenzin to um, go through this um, this crevice like before you. And if he if he catches up to you, then he will just bump you off the ladder and kill you. Oh yeah, that's always fun. That can happen in a, at a few points in this chapter. So uh, get ready yeah. for memes. <laughs> Like and also in, in, in like chapter two, it's that's here. the worst one. <laughs> when you're trying to beat uh, Flynn. Pinedo. Oh, that way, sure. Those things bite, you know. <laughs> yeah, companions in this game just want to be in the way at all times, pretty much. Also, he can like knock you off this platform here if you try and get ahead of him, and then you get a hey, slow animation the there. Hello? He's a and he can knock you off here you. as well. As I said, there's a lot of places you can get knocked off. We don't blame Tenzin though, because Tenzin is good. Yeah, it's not Tenzin's fault, it's the game. Mm -hmm. Tenzin did nothing wrong. Ever in his life. Must have been one of Schaefer's men. Well, I think the only regret he, he has is that he never told us what the Tibetan word for RPG is. Who gets that in? All right, I'll give you a boost. <laughs> yeah, I still don't speak that. But having said that, um, spoilers for the end of the game. Um, okay. Nate does learn a bit of Tibetan, so maybe, maybe he did teach him in the end. But that was off camera. Mm -hmm. We may never know. <laughs> There's a little jump you can do here. I missed it. It's fine. Um, yeah, you can go straight to this platform here. Come on! From uh, I'll catch you. from that ledge. Up top. And coming up is one of the most infamous ropes in the game, because uh, this game is very well made. And so, like, if you like try and jump to this rope. You end up being too high on it to jump to the platform across, so you have to walk off the edge. I never had an issue with getting on the rope. It's getting off the rope, which is the problem. <laughs> it's getting this, this uh, that's it. Yeah, it's kind of like counterintuitive. You have to like jump earlier. Yeah. It's like gives you more distance than jumping later. Yeah, I've like wasted so much time playing casually trying to jump to that platform and dying the and then that? just raging <laughs> yeah okay nice jump nice nice very uh very good jump mate 
That's what I wanted you to do. Also, can we restart checkpoint? Thanks. I just wanted him to do that. That's all I wanted. Should have kept count better or how many times you've got into the quit menu. Quit the menu thing. <laughs> I thought he was going to die. There's like so many moments when you're running this game where you'd be like, oh, I should have died then. And then you can now at least like survive like by grabbing a ledge and you're like, oh, phew. Um, yeah. Yep, that happens all. <laughs> All right, just stay here. Such a thing, I do Wait, there's a lot of like <laughs> uh, invisible moments where like the runner is purposefully doing something in, in a way so that you don't get one of those like, oh, that happened moments. Yeah, they just like run, jumps off somewhere in a stupid way. Especially also, in New Zealand. We'd... Yeah, also we did like a pretty big skip there, but you probably didn't notice it because it's very subtle. Um, so we, we actually rolled onto um, a, like a, an incline and then uh, grabbed the ledge from like at the top of the incline. Uh, and that like skips a whole like a whole area that you meant to go and like a fight after that. And yeah, it's really slow. So we skipped all that. Um, really so big skip. Yeah. Okay, so this chapter is like are one you, of the only Are you chapters. doing the new one? Um, yeah. I'm actually going to try... I don't know if I remember this. Um, we'll see. So, yeah. This chapter is like one of the only chapters where you can do like different strats for um, any percent compared to NG+. So I'm going to try and do a down as I walk onto that platform. No. Of course. Okay, I also forgot to give myself grenades, so that wouldn't work. Wouldn't have worked anyway. <laughs> okay, I won't give this too many goes because I forgot to do this before the checkpoint, so it's going to take a while to pull the menuing. Um, actually, I think there's a different way you can do this. I think we can go across there. Okay, this is kind of me trying to remember what to do, but we'll see. This is the beauty of entry plus is that we can what? That didn't like, work. Give, we can give ourselves like grenades and long guns where we're not supposed to have them yeah unfortunately you can only do it in like certain spots because the game disables that um for like the most of the game mm -hmm. okay i'll try this like one more time and then do like the normal um any percent route if i can't get it to work this is another part of the game where, like, we have we have like f five different ways of doing this part. Yep. Um. Wait. Wait. Okay, I don't remember what to do. Uh. Uh. Actually, I think I remember. Do I? Oh, it's been so long since I did this last. You mean the downwards thing? Yeah, I don't want to do chain skip because that's kind of dodgy. Um, let me turn fast motion off for this actually. Do you remember how to do this? I think. Like when you climb up, you do uh, inspect Sh to mm, turn. This might, this might be okay. Nice, very cool. Um, Right, what do I do now? I think I'll go up the... This is like a route I came up with like ages ago, like probably like a year ago. Um, but I haven't done it in like forever, so it's kind of ah! iffy, please help. Okay, that kind of worked. I think I got the checkpoint. Did I get the checkpoint? I don't know if I got the checkpoint. Okay, I got this checkpoint, which is fine. I'll just go from here. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually surprised that worked. So once you like get to like around here, you should get a checkpoint, I think. 
No. Okay. Um, that's fine. I'm pretty <laughs> sure there's a checkpoint there, but apparently not. <laughs> oh, that's not far enough, is it? Okay, that worked. Yeah, it's quite easy to fall off here as well. So, uh, that's not gonna work. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, doing this all with fast motion is kind of sketchy. <laughs> yeah. Because it really messes up with like um, the height for launches. Also, getting stuck there is very annoying. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is just chapter 18 being chapter 18. Pretty much. I mean, it is my fault because I really should know what to do, but I haven't run this category in, in a while, is my excuse. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure it's a zip air walk we can do here. So I'm going to try this. This is, this is pretty fancy if it works. Uh, I'm going to turn fast motion off for this as well, just for safety. Go. That, that's there. Oh, we're good. Okay, nice. So yeah, um, hey French found this try actually, and if you do this, um, this elevator is like at the bottom floor. It's meant to be at the ceiling, but it's actually um, at the bottom for some reason. So you can just run to it. Yeah, that was Great. that was that was fun. Hey French. Also, I should turn fast motion back on. There we go. I just found a lot of stuff in this game. Okay, we made. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost done. French, Matt, Matt, um, Greg, and Arams have found like pretty much the majority of strats. Yeah, I found one strat that's not used anymore. Oh, what did you find? Uh, it's the like in the start of chapter 18 when you do the. The climbing thing that breaks. Get back inside! Like, get inside! Mm -hmm. Like getting, uh, like, so you don't have to wait for it to go back in. You can, like, climb up and then jump, jump to the side. Uh, okay. I think I found that. Well, then somebody found a better way to do it, but. Yeah, I don't talk about that. It's fine, it's fine. You found something. That's all that matters. Yeah. Um, so yeah, chapter 19 and 8 and 20 are both like just combat chapters, so I'm gonna just knock through enemies with one shot kills. It's, uh, it's always fun. Um, there's a skip we're gonna do here. I'm gonna get out of bounds by clipping through this wall. Um, then running along this ledge here. And we're gonna turn the camera to the right at a specific point to load in the area. If you don't do that, you just fall through the floor. Um, from here, we're gonna clip into this building, and then take cover against that wall. Otherwise, we're stuck like in like the collision, so we can't like get back in bounds. So we, we take cover to um to get back in bounds there, and like that whole like strat or like skip was uh, like a community effort. Like a lot of people worked on it. Um, so no, no one person gets really good. Yeah, it's it's really nice, and then like the whole community came together. Well, not the whole community, but like a lot of runners came together to make that that all work. That's a pretty cool one. Also, a side effect of that skip is that Tenzin is like right at the door. Oh, camera, thanks. Uh, oh. Um, yeah, Tenzin is right at the door. Uh, opening it, like he, he teleports the door basically, and. Um, that's a, another time save. That's like a side effect of this trap. Oh, am I supposed to take a tank out? Shit. Have you ever done the thing here that like, Arms does in this run where you where you do the PS3 air walk? Uh, to skip this trigger. I've tried it, like in practice, but I have never done it in a run. Because it's just too yeah, I mean, insane. 
So it's just right? Yeah, there's like a few different out of bounds you can do here um, in this chapter, like around this point. There's an out of bounds you can do to skip this part as well, actually. Um, I don't know if Eremsis PB has that, but it might, so definitely check that out for like the fastest, craziest bounds, because Eremsis is the guy to do all that stuff. And I am not. <laughs> It does have it, but then he failed like the no, second no, no, part no. of it, so. Oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, can we not be in cover? Thanks. There's also like a jump you can do to avoid this little shimmy here, but it's kind of specific, so I don't usually go for it. It doesn't take that much time. So yeah, this next area is like very me? notorious for killing ones because uh, this tank and the areas here, I mean the enemies here, um, sorry, can't really talk right now because reasons. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's very easy to die, so if you do die, you get placed really far back at a really annoying checkpoint and it's like hard to recover from that if you want to do this strat, which is just running through the whole area and getting straight to the end. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. Okay, no, we're good. <laughs> that was sketchy for a second there. Um, so yeah, you can actually shoot the um, tank through this wall here. Can I get more ammo? There we go. There we go. So you don't have to actually hit the tank directly, which is nice, because you can just stay in that spot there and it's quite safe. Hang on! I'm hanging! I'm hanging! Yeah, 20. Yeah, that could have gone that, that could have gone worse, so I'll take it, for sure. Um, this chapter is pretty much an auto-scroller, so we're just gonna just uh, chill for a bit and... Uh, I mean, you, you don't have to kill these guys, but it gives me something to do, right? Yeah, it's an honest brawler as long as you don't do anything stupid. Pretty much. Having said that, I've done stupid stuff here in my before, so uh, it's always fun. Yeah. Well, sometimes if you like land on the hood on the wrong place at the wrong time, you like put a bonnet of the, of the truck, then yeah. you like strange things happen. Yeah, you you can die if like you get unlucky like that, but usually you should be able to control it. So most of the time, it's going to be your fault if you die. It's like, like if you fall on the, the bonnet as the as it's like colliding with the next truck. Yeah. Hopefully you get to see them. Nice fish. Yeah, like the tires and like Parts of these trucks can get launched pretty high into the air, given the right circumstances. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> cool. Okay, uh, chapter 22, this is one of the hardest, well, actually I'm going to say this is the hardest chapter in the game because there's a series of airwalks that we need to do um, and if you fail any one of them you have to restart the whole process again. So it's pretty unforgiving even if you make small mistakes. A bit better now because when you do the, the bridge zip then you, you like eliminate one of those. Like, yeah, Basically, it's only... like remove one one link from the chain. Yeah, so it's only like three airwalks that I'm gonna do, whereas before it used to be four airwalks. Um, but first we have to do this next area of enemies. Uh, we have to take them all out. So I'm gonna go specific order. I'm gonna kill these three guys. I'm gonna be a guy coming through here. I'm gonna shoot him. We also need grenades, but actually since we've got infinite ammo, that counts 
for grenades too, so go ahead and click grenades. As soon as we get like one grenade. Where are Yeah, don't question what just happened there, that that's that's normal, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, you can also see I'm reload cancelling at certain points. Um, yo, guys, chill. Okay. I'm gonna die. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> yeah, there's like a side effect to like... If you, if you take too much damage from the turret, you never really get like a good opportunity to like get your health back you're just yeah pushing it's it's really that shotgun guy which is like the biggest threat because the shotgun even on explorer difficulty does like massive damage and it can one shot you as well so that's uh that's fun okay there should be one more clear. okay that's fine Okay, we're gonna do an airwalk here to bypass like going through that gate with Elena. Um, so as soon as we hit that red wall to the left, we can restart checkpoint, and it will place us like up there. Zerm's the only runner that does the the gate clip. I think so. I don't know why he does it because I don't think it's quicker. Yeah, and it's it's annoying as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a zipper walk you can do here, actually. I should probably should have gone for it. Whatever, it's fine. Um, so yeah, this is like the start of the series of airwalks. Um, so yeah, this one's pretty straightforward. This one isn't really a problem. And as you can see, there's no enemies here. Um, because we did an airwalk to get across. Um, none of the enemies spawn in. So that's handy, of course, for speed. Um, should be okay. Okay, that's fine. This just means I have to do another airwalk, um, because I got stuck on the stairs. I blame fast motion for that, by the way. I don't usually mess this up. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna airwalk into this area and wait to load in collision for a bit. Um, oh, hello. This angle's not ideal. Should be okay. Yeah, that's fine. I was meant to be a bit further left, but it's okay. We clutched it with that grenade. Okay, this is the last airwalk, so if you're going in the wrong direction, I think I'm going in the wrong direction. Am I? Uh, should be okay, I'm gonna say. Uh, yeah, I usually aim like at the corner. Yes, yeah, it should be fine actually. So yeah, like the the trigger, like the tr the pl trigger plane, is like really big, so I think I did it. Did I miss it? it seemed pretty left, far left to me. No. Okay, I missed it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> the UC two experience. Uh, what can you do? Yep, yeah, this is what the game does. I mean, it is my fault, but <laughs> we'll just say it's the game. We'll, yeah, we'll blame it on the game. Yeah. That, that's the worst one as well, because it's the... It's really... It's like, that's an airwalk you shouldn't really like mess up, but you just do mess it up sometimes. Yeah, run this game, guys. It's really fun. Uh, lots of fun times ahead. <laughs> Not soul crushing at all. Yeah. Okay. So this is like a good zip air walk. Um, so we're in the next area. 
usually I only wait for 10 seconds, but I wasn't paying attention to when I started uh, the pause. So we'll just wait for the area to load in. Fine. Right, round two. Let's uh, try not messing this up this time. That looks good. Uh, yeah, it should be okay. Yeah, usually it's like. If you're passing somewhat through, like, between those two murals on the wall, or sculptures on the wall, you, you're pretty okay, in my experience. Yeah, just gotta wait for the, like, area to load, and then I'll exit the photo mode, and we should die. And we hit the checkpoint, so yay. Okay, this next stair walk is very... Even sketchy. harder. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to fast motion for this one. Uh, I think uh, imagine it's too if we, fast. Yeah, it's too fast. Imagine if we didn't get a checkpoint for this one. Uh, yeah, that, that would have been fun. <laughs> uh, I may or may not finish this in the next eight minutes. But considering I have to fill a... Uh, really? Again? Okay, whatever. Um, considering I have to fill, fill like a 1 out of 40 slot, I think it's fine. You're doing, you're doing real good. <laughs> Thanks, Lost. <laughs> Concerning it's 5 a.m. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is one trick. You have to like clip the ledge at like in the right way, so you can get glued to the top of the roof. Yeah, the timing is pretty specific for that one. Some, if you get too much speed on the Actually. or too much uh, horizontal speed on the airwalk, you can like save it sometimes by throwing the grenade correctly. Okay, we're gonna do another cover clip here. So we're gonna go out of bounds. I'm gonna drop down here. I'm with the camera to the right so that this area that we're in doesn't deload. And then once we're over here, we can just drop down and hit checkpoint. Get down! You're repelling down that wall! Do you kill that guy's hit the checkpoint? Uh, oh, yes. Boys. There's nothing scary at the top. Alright. I kind of yeah, forget you, what happens you, if you don't kill You need to shoot one guy. I don't know why. You just shoot one guy. Bad things will happen if uh, you don't shoot that guy. That's all we need to know. We're getting close. I know it. Oh, I think I. Yeah. Very cool. That's good. <laughs> yes. I l you love to see it. Yeah. <laughs> I love to see it. It's okay. It's five a.m. That's my excuse. <laughs> We're getting close, I know it. Yeah, let's, let's not try it this time. You have There's to do some doors it, up here. I need your help. Okay, okay fine. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, there we go. Go. <laughs> uh, here it is, okay. Elena. Uh, this way. Secret entrance yep. to Shambhala. Question of speed on it. This isn't, this isn't Golden Max Abyss where you can skip all the puzzles. Unfortunately not, yeah. Big man with that gun, aren't you? So far. I can't believe Lazarevich hasn't killed you yet. Give me a boost, buddy. <laughs> buddy. There we go. Oh, look out, it's a stone throw. Hey! Sorry. Uh, 
So yeah, it's the return of Flynn, my favorite British guy. Um, there you go, sweetheart. Yeah, he's uh, being very friendly, of course. Go on. You better not be leading me into a dead But yeah, this whole chapter is basically just a bit of platforming, and then there's a puzzle there. at the end, which isn't really that taxing on your brain. Oh, actually, I've seen that puzzle kind of glitch out because uh, the journal in that in that area, it can like really bug out, and like you can't see Help the symbols that you're supposed to to, um, yeah. to use. I've seen that happen to like a few work. people, so uh, like yeah, that's good old days, eh? it's fun. From the like this puzzle in twenty four. Yeah, the cylinders. Well, yeah. Unfortunately, we're speedrunning, no. so we know the answers Help already. We're just uh, <laughs> gonna avoid using the journal like that. Pay yeah. attention, everybody. It's gonna Come be on, on a girl, test. Girl. There you go. <laughs> of your mom. <laughs> yeah. Um, after the run, you guys are all gonna get quiz on the puzzles. So I uh, hope you guys are taking notes. Life-size statue of your ego. Yeah. Hope you can make that jump on your own. I sure as hell am not going to help you. If you can do it. I can. No help. No help. Never mind. Just kidding. It's fun. Right, it's funny how like some puzzles so. you remember, you, some you don't. This is one where like I always think I forget it, but then like. You just like, so you I remember it like, uh, as you're doing it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, uh, like relative to the movement you do, it's all like, it's like, uh, this feels right. Yeah, it's it's in your muscle memory, but you've done it enough times, so you know what to do. Even mm -hmm. if like you can't remember like specifically what, what the solution is. What's that? Just came out the floor. Come on, make yourself useful. I will never. Remember the shadow puzzle from Lost Legacy? What are we grinding weak? What is yeah, this? that one that's actually one of my favorites in the whole series. Like, it's, it's just so cool. really good. Like water. The puzzles definitely got better as like the series progressed. Oh crap! Yeah. I feel like Lost Legacy is like just really good. Mm. No especially like, like the right Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say it would be like the open world area in chapter four. Like, there's like so many puzzles there. Yeah, um, yeah I'm just gonna say that as well. Like the, the jumping puzzle thing and the, and the like rotating puzzle in chapter 4. Really fun. Yeah. You know, like, it's pretty simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. Yeah, it's still like quite satisfying to solve. Yeah, don't don't mind what's going on screen. Yeah, that's completely normal. Come on. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Go, go, go. I like that there's three different ways to get the yeah, it's fucked out. Hmm. There's like there's a glitchless way where you just like hang off a certain ledge and they didn't ever like catch you for some reason because this game is very well programmed and then there's that way which is like completely breaking the game Oh, this this sliding platform thing must have been hell to develop. Yeah. And actually, that sliding platform right, is like go. really weird because um, you can actually that like the friendly fire is meant to be disabled for like every area in the game, but in that spot you can shoot the companions even though the red is grayed out. So like. There's still like friendly fire there. So, yeah. yeah, you can tell to like, kill, that's what. That they're like, what are we they're just to about got it to work, so they kind of left it in a couple of things. Shooting. Also, no one else does an airwalk here, but I feel like it's worth doing. 
if you've got the extra grenade. Because usually you do a general launch there. The oh my God, what is that? The sap is flammable. And also with like infinite ammo, we have infinite grenades, so uh, it's definitely worth doing. Yeah. Also, these vines, they don't really exist. Like with a lot of things in this game. Yeah, you can even skip them and really uh, push them. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that, that's another that. thing I found. Oh, did I you think. find that? That's nice. That's actually a good strat. Like a really good strat. Yeah, I was really impressed with myself. <laughs> so yeah, this is the last airwalk of the game and one of the ones I hate the most because I can never go in, in a straight line where I'm meant to be going. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, should be okay, I think, question mark, we'll see. I think that's fine. Yeah, it should be okay. So yeah, this is going to skip basically the whole of chapter 25. Uh, so we're going to go straight to like the tree area of chapter 26. And once we're here, there we go, chapter 26. Who's going to be unloading grenades on Lazarovich? Oh, you know, now that I think about it, that's a good idea. <laughs> I didn't even think about that before. That, that's actually a pretty good trap. Coming up with new strats on the fly. Thanks to us. Okay, cool. Um, let's not do this, please. <laughs> okay, that that was slower than the way you were meant to go, but new strats, so uh, I guess we'll look into that in the future. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be really sad as well to see perfect, perfect fight. Yeah, because with with um. With one shot kills, I imagine like the the M4, like you only need to do like one body shot and then you can do like one grenade and mm -hmm. that should get him into the next phase. Time's coming up. Yep. Um, time will be coming up very soon, as soon as we kill the last guardian. So I'll let you know when that is. Should be very soon. In the next few seconds. So like three, two, one, and time. Oh. Um, how far ahead of schedule are we? Okay, no, we're meant to have Drake's fortune now, so I guess we'll see. Let's get this cutscene. Um, right. Uh, thanks, Oz, for commentating with me. Thanks, guys, for watching the GGs. Um, was fun. I will be back soon with uh, what are we doing? Uncharted Three, crushing, uh, I'm racing Brad. So that will be in like four hours or so. So I should probably get some sleep, so I'm going to uh, peace out. Uh, thanks guys again for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the marathon. Good luck to Blue, who is doing Uncharted 1 glitchless next. Uh, and then Kada after that, and again Toxic and Kada after that, and then I'll be back. So yeah, uh, thanks again Oz for commentating with me, it was fun. Yeah.